Hi, my name is Vitek Goel, uh, also known as Tech. I play in a band called Slow Down Clown. I've been collecting records for, well, collecting them, I guess, maybe s five or six years. Vinyl collecting is an addiction, and it's 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 a terrible affliction. <laughs> it's but it's it's very gratifying. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes you have a record in mind, you just gotta have it. You go search the whole world to find it. So uh, this was a very cool record that I picked up uh, at Chor Bazaar, and this one I had absolutely no idea what it what it was. It's uh, Yama and the Kama Dusters. It was really cool. It's like seventies garage folk kind of stuff and uh, you know I was I was looking online and looking at like eBay and stuff like that and it's, it's actually a pretty rare record they, they only made like maybe a couple thousand copies of this in the whole world so to find one of these in Chor Bazaar was kind of bizarre <laughs> uh, yeah I've been a massive Bob Dylan fan since as long as I can remember and one of the cool collectible Dylan stuff I have is uh, this is a copy of his 1966 album Blonde on Blonde and what's cool about this is that this is actually the original pressing and uh, with the original pressings they have this picture right here of this actress Claudia Cardinal and she she never really gave permission to Bob Dylan to use her photo so she kind of sued him I guess and uh, they pulled this release off pretty soon after it was out so there's very there's not that many copies with her picture and I think all the other copies after that they put it, they put a different picture so that's this is a pretty cool collectible. These days, I mean, it's getting harder and harder to find some records, so you have to resort to stuff like eBay. I think eBay is probably one of the biggest places to buy records from. Like for example, if I know there's a record that I want, a specific record, then I'll probably look on eBay for it if I can't find it. I was walking around, you know, with my sister or something, just looking at furniture or something, and I saw this there. I was like, wow! I didn't never would expect to see. This is like a gloomy English moke goth kind of band, you know, and you're like you'll never see stuff like this. Hang on, why would anyone sell it? You know, why would it end up in Chor Bazaar? So I was very happy. I snagged this up as soon as I saw it. I actually recently just bought a record cleaning machine, which is pretty cool. So you have to just put this fluid on there. Take the brush. This is the vacuum tube you spill that. It made my life a lot simpler. <laughs> it only really takes like a minute or so to clean each side. When you when you buy like an original record, something that was released like first pressing, you know, it's obviously the collectors, the, the, the collectors like it because it's the first copy and it's got like that antique kind of value to it, you know. And this is the first edition uh, of Led Zepp three, and it's got the original pinwheel cover. So I don't know if you can see this. So that's pretty cool. Well, the funny story about this was that uh, the Radhi Bala sold it to me. He told me that these, all these records came from M.F. Hussain's house. I don't know how true that story is, but that's what he told me, so I believe him, I guess. I like the way they sound. I mean, it's a much warmer sound, and their crackling is it's comforting sometimes, and so I like the sound of it. Underneath my pillow, found a letter that you wrote. Words of soft as sadness, words you last spoke. Is it just a coincidence or some kind of cruel joke?